Art with Miss Ellis. Welcome to Art with Miss Ellis. I'm Miss Ellis, and this is Palmer. This is our fifth and final episode of our Famous Artist series. Today, we're gonna to be learning about one of my favorite artists of all time, Jackson Pollock, and abstract expressionism. Also, Quinn and I will be showing you how to make a drip painting just like Jackson Pollock. So what is abstract expressionism? I'm glad you asked. Abstract expressionism is a very spontaneous art style that showed the emotions and feelings of the artist. So then who was Jackson Pollock? Who was he? Who was Jackson Pollock? Jackson Pollock was an American painter that lived from 1912 to 1956. He had a huge impact on the expressionist movement. He was most known for his drip paintings. Here is one of his paintings called Blue Poles. And here is another one called Lavender Mist. And we are gonna be making a drip painting today, just like Jackson Pollock. So for this project, you will need cardboard or canvas, three or four different colors of acrylic or tempera paint, three or four cups, and sticks. <laughs> this has potential of being really messy which is why I suggest taking this outside and definitely suggest doing this under adult supervision. So you can do this project on canvas, cardboard, or even a regular piece of paper. I'd suggest doing it on something more sturdy like canvas or cardboard. Quinn and I are using a 24 by 36 canvas, but obviously you don't have to go that big. So Jackson Pollock actually used sticks and the ends of paintbrushes to paint with, and so we're actually gonna go around looking for sticks to use today. You ready, Quinn? Yeah. Let's go look for some sticks. Yeah. yeah. You see a stick? Yeah. That's a good stick. Did you find another stick? Yeah. That's a big one. I got a <laughs> All right, we got our sticks, so we're ready to start. All right, we have our sticks and our paint. We're using acrylic paint, which can be a little thick for this project. So I watered the paint down a little so it will fall off the sticks better. I suggest having one stick per color so that the colors don't mix. So what you wanna do is just let the paint fall off the stick like this. You can also do a little flick of the wrist, just like this. And there you have it, our Jackson Pollock drip painting. Make sure you let it dry before you pick it up or else it could smear. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe. We release a new video every Monday. This is the end of our famous artist series. So next Monday, we will start with our science series where we will be doing science related art projects. So until then, see ya, bye bye. Hey Quinn, can you say bye bye? You say bye-bye? <gasps> say bye-bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> what God. happened? I don't know. What happened to my finger? You don't know what happened?